Hello and welcome to IGEL Tech Channel. My name is Christian Rieling. I'm Senior Systems Engineer at IGEL Technology. And in this video, I want to show you how to use template profiles. What are we going to see in this video? First, I will explain why you can or should use template profiles. And the next step will show you how to use them and how to check if everything is configured correctly. So, what is the use case for a template profile? For example, um, if you have a profile for your background images, then you have to create several background image profiles for several resolutions, 16 to 9, 4 to 3, and stuff like this. So that means that you will have a lot of profiles that contains nearly the same settings except of the name of the background image. And in this case, sometimes you could wish a possibility to use a template with a variable to configure one profile and only do the setting to the thin client directly. This is what we can do with template profiles. So we can use the template profiles to create a profile with the most settings, but leave some settings open um, for a list of possible values. I will show you how this is working. Okay, first let's have a look to our thin clients. I configured the black background image in the profile, so every thin client will get the black background image. But I want to configure individual uh, background images, but I don't want to create several profiles for it. First step is go on UMS administration, misc settings and enable the template profiles. Save it to the server settings and go back. Now you see the new point template keys and groups that shows us that it's enabled, but at the moment it's empty. Next step is open the profile where you configured the background image. And if we now go here to the point where we configure the image, you will see that the button here has changed. So there's a blue in the front and the green in the back. That means we can use this with a template profile. Click it again, you get an empty field and a new button. And here you can create a new list for values that can be used in this field. I will create a new list called background images. And then I can specify, specify all the values. Uh, for example, I will take the normal one, create the value, then the red one, for example, and I will create the blue one. And if it's a value with a drop down, you will have the drop down items here. If it's a free text field, you will have a free text field here. So it's depending on what is possible on this setting. So after creating the list, I click finished. You see there's a dollar bracket, background images bracket. Click OK. And then you see this list is used in this setting. I will save this. Say, OK, do it on the next reboot. And now I will specify which client will have which background image. So we can open template keys and groups. And here is the list we just created with all the values. And what we now can do is just like in profile, we can assign a uh, value here for a client like dragging and dropping or whatever we did to all the other profile stuff. So let's take a look to the client. And you see he got a new configuration. We say, OK, use this. And then you see there's a changed background image for this here. If we do not specify the value here, and we send now the settings to the thin client, then he will use the default value for this setting. Or if there's no default value, he will use nothing. So you see here, it's a broken background image. We have function check template definitions here. And then you will get an information about all the thin clients that use the 
template profile that have not configured a value here. So you see this client, there's missing something. And now we can go, for example, here and say, okay, please take the normal image, say now, go back to the client. And then you see there's now a new background image here assigned to the client. That's the way how you can use the profiles, one profile with several different settings to the thin clients without creating several profiles. Thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our pre-sales support or take a look to Agile Edox. Have a nice day.